can't trust you. Just uh, consider I wasn't there. Actually, I'm very glad you're here right now. I'm glad to see you return from Ohio somewhat unscathed. Uh, actually, I'm plenty scathed. It's just uh, inside and not outside. Would you like to tell me about it? Very much. But it's uh, dark and heavy stuff, Vic. I don't want to burden you with it. Well, in that case, make yourself comfortable because I did ask. Oh, thank you. Uh, because I need your help. And I can trust you, too. I mean, you know Dorian as well or better than any other member of her family. Probably, yeah. Well, that's what I need. Perhaps you can help us shed some light on all of this. I mean, Kathy and I went to Canton as planned, and we met Dorian's nanny, uh, uh -huh. Miss Charlotte Stonecliff. Real piece of work, one of those straight-backed, tight-lipped matriarchs. And she was also Dorian's mother's nanny. Whoa, she must be pretty old. She's getting on, and she's sharp as a tack. And she told us a long saga about the death of Dorian's parents. She even took us to see their grave. Something wasn't quite right. And so? And so, Kathy and I decided, well, we'll treat it like any other assignment. We started to dig. We looked through some old newspapers at the time, some records at City Hall. We even had a meeting with the undertaker in Ohio who claims to have buried Dr. and Mrs. Kramer. And it all led us to the same conclusion. We don't think they died in the plane crash. Are you serious? Well, how did they die? I don't know. Oh, this is so bizarre. What is going on there? Clearly, Dorian's been carrying around a big, ugly secret for a very long time. Do you think she knows it? Possibly. Now, that leads me to believe that you suspect she has something to do with her parents' death. She was just a kid. Now, come on, that's not an answer. Now I need to speak to you, right now. I'm sorry. Excuse me, but go ahead. What? I need to know what you think. What about? Kelly has just made the wildest, cruelest accusation. I need to know if you believe it. And if you do, I I don't even I, know. I, 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 I know, I know. Slow down. Calm down.
But I don't know any more about her secrets than you do. I mean, come on. She's not going to confide in me. Yeah, but I have to find a way of telling her what we've learned. And frankly, it, it scares me, too. I'm sure it does. A bit like opening a dam and trying not to drown in what comes out. Yeah, I only hope she can trust me enough to let it all happen so I can help her deal with it when it's over. She's pretty lucky you even want to do that. If she had anything to do with her parents' death, or she's covering for someone else, she's going to need all the help she can get. Mel, you are so noble and kind to want to do this, and I certainly admire your passion and devotion. Mm, thank to you, joy. thank you, but... But I have tried to warn you. She will guard her secrets like a lioness with her claws out. Not only that, she will guard other people's secrets. Believe me, I know from experience. From what experience? Not now. I have an appointment. Well, well, this is the second time that you've been about to say something and then clammed up on me. I mean, you're becoming as cryptic well, as she is. No, I don't mean to do that. It's a long story. Oh, no. Come on. Yes, sir? Now I'm getting the runaround from you, too. Oh, no, please. 